Welcome or welcome back. Right, it's another product review. So if you're not into product reviews, then please feel free to move on. But I've got a couple of items for you today that have piqued my interest. And uh, yeah, one of them is uh, a tyre inflator. And it's probably the third one that I've reviewed. But uh, the previous two have been quite expensive. And uh, one or two of you pointed out that very fact. So the one I've got for you today looks like a quality piece of kit and uh, it's very very reasonably priced indeed and you'll be able to get some discount off that as well courtesy of me so we'll have a quick look at that but also from the same company a twin communications set for your helmet motorcycle communications and uh, this time not just Bluetooth, but also the mesh communication system used by more premium comms systems like Cardo and Senna. Uh, but it's uh, fair to say an awful lot cheaper. So uh, we'll start by uh, having a bit of an unboxing uh, and look at what we've got. So the company in question is called AS Max or Asmax. And... Uh, comes in some very smart packaging it seems a lot of electrical products these days I think uh, probably following on from the tradition set by uh, Apple there is uh, as much to be said about the packaging as there is to be said about the product itself very very smart packaging here nice matte black box smart air pump okay so let's see what we get Of course, of all the things that you can carry with you on your motorcycle, a good quality um, mini compressor, air pump, tyre inflator, whatever you want to call it, of course, very much an essential um, if you're going to execute a puncture repair at the roadside. So, what do we get? We get the uh, usual adapters for Schrader and um, Presta valves obviously the ubiquitous USB-C charging lead we get the flexible valve connector and we get a top quality oh and it does feel top quality carry bag for said compressor so let's have a look at the kit itself and uh, it's got a nice heft to it and uh, first impressions are I hope you can see that that the fit and finish on it is uh, absolutely spot on nothing cheap looking about that whatsoever and we've got the uh, on off function button there and you also have a light function and I believe this does this double as a charger as well let's have a look yes there's a rubber tab there and there's connectors there for USB and USB-C so you've got yourself a torch a tyre pump and a power bank all in one this here bit of kit right <clears throat> and obviously some uh, some operating instructions uh, in there okay so I'll uh, I'll be testing this in due course uh, and we'll uh, have a look at how long it takes to reinflate a completely flat motorcycle tire uh, probably going to need to charge it up first, but it'll work in uh, the uh, the normal fashion. I suggest that, uh, yeah, basically the flexible part bayonets in there, and uh, without the adapter, you have the Schrader valve that you would expect on a car or a motorcycle. Uh, Presta converter and a ball inflator converter there with the kit as well. So yeah, carry that around with you. Uh, keep it fully charged and you're not going to get caught out and uh, normally I find with these uh, bits of kit that they'll uh, reinflate a completely flat motorcycle tyre say around 40 psi 
probably uh, depending on the unit that you've got somewhere between two and five minutes and it's job done and there's always plenty of charge left but i will check it out with this and i'll uh, give you the uh, appropriate specs so that's the old as max or as max tire inflator go through the affiliate link in the description below and get yourself some additional discount off the already very very reasonable price for this solid piece of kit okay so moving on to this then now this really piqued my interest the asmax comms system and uh, two units that mount uh, to your helmet uh, and the beauty of these is i mean before these cheaper comms systems only came with bluetooth connectivity so uh, be fine making and receiving calls listening to music on your phone talking to a pillion uh, if you wanted to communicate with another motorcycle you probably have to be within a reasonable distance uh, and that will be limited by and large to yourself and one other rider not so anymore of course uh, famously uh, Cardo and Senna and other more quote-unquote premium brands established themselves on the back of a comm system called Mesh where you can pair up and communicate with uh, a large group of other riders uh, with uh, a range of claimed uh, around about one kilometre one to 1.5 kilometers if memory served was claimed certainly by the carla uh, the um cardo scala rider which is the unit i've had for uh, quite a few years now um, that works on the mesh system uh, but those uh, cardo units and the uh, Senna units and other units are an awful lot of money and if you want to buy two uh, go have a look on the internet and see what you'd pay for example for a set of two um, Cardo Pack Talk Edge uh, comms units so have a look at that <clears throat> what you pay for a pair of um, Cardo Pack Talk Edge um, comms units uh, and I think you'll find it's quite a lot of money uh, whereas these units here coming in for the pair under £100 and with the same mesh system that the Cardo units run ok so let's see what we get in the box well, hey, we all like an unboxing don't we and again very premium packaging nice matte black box there and then uh, a box that looks like it would be fit for jewellery, to be fair. The old uh, Asmax logo on. So what we get stylishly presented from the outset are uh, the two units. So uh, fairly uh, ubiquitous shape for these things, really. But... Uh, four controls one two three four push button controls all with different functions and there is also voice activation with this system so it's got a voice activation system now with my uh, cardo uh, packed up bold i have had one or two issues with voice activation it likes to turn the radio on uh, at the drop of the hat you can say something completely innocuous and all of a sudden you've got radio on and whatever communications you are having with another rider then drop out and the radio comes on and it's never in tune and it's all white nose and you've got to turn the unit off again because when you say uh, radio off um, just ignores me so that's my uh, that's my pack talk bowl that's my personal experience with that i'm not saying it's everybody's experience but it's mine so yeah we get two of those underneath what we have is two of the boxes i believe yep so the goodies for each of those units will be in each of them there boxes so let's have a look at uh, what we get in the boxes uh, 
instructions and we get both a boom mic and we also get um, <clears throat> I don't know what they call these but it's just a small uh, stick on sort of lavalier type mic depends what kind of helmet you're using if you're using an open face helmet or a flip top helmet you'll need the boom mic uh, if you're using a full face helmet then you need this little sort of um, self adhesive button type lavalier type mic there uh, inside your lid and uh, come with spare covers and whatnot so uh, yeah those are the mics we also get the mounting plate so I think you've uh, certainly got a clip-on option there to clip onto the side of your helmet and connect to the mic and the earphones Yep, yeah, that's the clip-on setup. And what else we got? Stickers! And I'm guessing those are... Uh, it says care bag. I'm guessing those are little cleaning pads. Maybe if you're using the adhesive option. Let's have a look what else we've got. There are your earphones. Um, obviously they will uh, mount inside the helmet. Some helmets have little earphone recesses in them that are a fairly standard size. Some don't, just depends. Um, but um, they velcro on to the included 3M pads. So uh, yeah, no problem fitting the old earphones there. Then we have adhesive pads, um, if you don't want to clip onto your helmet or for example if, you're, uh, if your helmet has got quite a wide flange uh, around the, uh, the base of the helmet uh, it might not be appropriate to use the clip on mount and you might want to use the self adhesive mount which is also supplied um, and just stick that, it's 3M so it'll stick like uh, nobody's business onto the side of your helmet. Uh, and there you've got a, a, the mount for the uh, for the unit itself, uh, and of course the uh, statutory USB and USB USB C uh, charge lead, and the other box will contain exactly the same kit um, for the other unit. So I, so I'm going to need to test these. Obviously, what I'm going to be doing, uh, not. On this video but on a subsequent video what I'll be doing is I'll be putting these to the test so I'll test them uh, indoors um, in relation to their functionality so things like connectivity to your smartphone um, ability to play music uh, response to voice control um, all the sorts of things that you're going to need to use while you've got this uh, setup connected to your bike uh, I'll also be uh, checking out the range using the mesh system, uh, the usable sort of range to communicate between one bike or another. Now, I might not have somebody that's uh, willing or able to uh, wire one of these systems into their lid to assist me. So what I'm going to do, I think, is um, I've got a couple of spare helmets, so I'll uh, attach both these. To my spare helmets and uh, then with the assistance of an assistant from somewhere I'll test the range of this system but worth pointing out this is using mesh now and uh, anybody that's got experience of the car door or the center units will know that the, the mesh system uh, is very very good at maintaining good communications between a number of bikers who can come together on a group uh, across uh, quite reasonable distances so that'll be coming we'll be checking that out uh, again if you want some discount off this already very reasonably priced piece of kit go through the affiliate link in the description below but first impressions very good indeed and uh, first impressions around the price absolutely incredible uh, if memory serves a double cardo unit if you go for the edge 
or even if you go for the uh, the earlier Pat Talk Bold, you're talking several hundreds of pounds. Uh, whereas these units are coming in at under £100 and with the discount code significantly under £100. But I'll be checking that out uh, in the next uh, day or two. Simply haven't been able to get out for the last week because of the weather. It's just been absolutely impossible. Uh, but we will give these a thorough going over and uh, hopefully that review will be coming along uh, in the next few days for you. So... There we go, some cracking looking products from Asmax, AS Max, Asmax. Uh, very, very reasonably priced, very well presented, and uh, let's hope absolutely top quality gear and an absolute bargain basement price. But for today, we'll just uh, put this here pump through its paces and uh, we'll uh, establish how long it takes to reinflate a completely flat motorcycle tyre. So we'll be basically uh, recreating the uh, puncture situation out on the road. Okay, so let's uh, crack on with that. Right, so here we go then. Uh, press and hold the on-off button to power up. Uh, then on the left hand side that button there if you cycle through that button it will take you between cycle motorcycle car and ball and if you press and hold that button it will switch between psi bar and two other pressure settings And by pressing up and down, we can set the appropriate tyre pressure that we want, as you can see there. There's the torch. Pretty obvious button on the right hand side. A couple of functions there with that. Right, so now we're ready to attach the flexible valve connector. And that screws firmly into place there, nice and tight and as you can see zero psi registering on the unit there because that the tire on my classic 350 is completely deflated so just a matter now of uh, seeing how long it takes to reinflate this here tire right then off we go There we go, 2 minutes 42 seconds and plenty of charge left for another tyre or two. Right, so highly recommended.